Hi, I'm Clay Carlino, and I play very, very old video games. With the Halloween season approaching, I thought it would be fun to explore some of the uh, horror-themed games that have been made for old consoles. Uh, pretty much the Atari 2600, at least for right now. I, uh, I can get more emulators at some point, but uh, I'm still kind of experimental. Before we start with that, I, uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to, uh, to promote a couple things. Uh, first of all, I just released a new how-to video on how to fix your hood latch if the uh, hood latch on your vehicle is sticking. Uh, it's not very complicated. It's a pretty short video, but please feel free to check it out. Uh, I actually did that repair earlier, and uh, and it went pretty pretty easy. Also, I just put together a Halloween playlist on my channel, and this is just a collection of some of the videos that I've done that are either Halloween themed. Or, uh, you know, maybe useful for making decorations or making costumes. It's not a long playlist, eight videos. Uh, some of them are you know, kind of old, you know, back from 2016 when I didn't have facial hair. So, ooh, scary. Anyway, uh, so that's, that's all the updates for right now. Uh, let's get to the video games and we are going to take a look at, at Haunted House for the Atari 2600. Now this is not the original version. This is a hack that... Uh, oh, I've got stuff that's falling off the table. Well, <laughs> my, my ghosts are uh, apparently offending the poltergeists that are in this room. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's just extra creepy. Anyway, ha Haunted House, hmm, for the Atari 2600. Uh, Haunted House was released in 1982 by, for Atari 2600. Uh, there was, uh, it was written by uh, James Andreessen. Uh, so thank you, James, because it's actually a, a pretty cool little game. And uh, also thanks to, uh, to Kurt Howe and Bob Montgomery, which apparently made this hack, which doesn't really change the gameplay at all, a lot. It just adds a little bit of extra color, a little bit of extra flair. So without any further ado, let us start Haunted House for the Atari 2600. All right, this is the pretty much the same screen that I remember from when I was a kid, except uh, there is a, uh, there is a uh, little more color at the bottom. And we're just gonna start out. Uh, I'm not going through any of the special versions right now. I'm just uh, doing the base game and uh, it's not a big game, so. You hit your action button and that lights a match. And your score in this game is basically how how few matches you can use to find the three pieces of the broken chalice and exit the house. So I'm on two matches. I, I actually really like this game, and yeah, part of that is probably nostalgia. I had this game when I was a kid, and, uh, and I like the effect of the candle flicker, the, uh, the fact that you're just eyes, and see, now there is a piece of chalice. So here's what I'm going to do. You can only carry one thing at a time in this game. I guess uh, pockets hadn't been invented. So what I like to do is I like to find a piece and then de deposit it by the front door so that, uh, so that I'll know where all the other pieces are. Now, uh, of course, you could just remember w what rooms they're in and uh, or even carry them around with you. But you see, there's other things in the game. Now, in the base game, 
The only other thing that you can pick up is a scepter, which makes you immune to the other uh, creatures, which there's a bat. And uh, earlier, the bat uh, was actually able to go through me without hurting me, which was surprising. Uh, that might be something that was changed in the hacked version. The ghost definitely hurts me, though. And uh, so, you know, if I run across the bat again, I'll, uh, I'll run into him just to see what happens. So we're up to the fourth floor now. See, there's the scepter. The scepter makes me immune, but I'm not going to use it. Now you see, the bat's not hurting me. Um, I think that that's part of this hack, because as I remember it, when, uh, when I was a kid, the bat always hurt you. So this scepter, uh, this scepter makes you immune to everything. And what I used to like to do is follow the creatures around and make them look like they have googly eyes. Hey, 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 look, look, you, you got googly eyes. You're funny looking. G games were far less, uh, far less interesting uh, in 1982. Oh, now see there, there we've got the, uh, the ghost. And now, if I were to drop the scepter, which, yeah, we'll go there. Oh, ah, oh! And see, when I was a kid, that kind of freaked me out. I mean, that's, that's not, not like, like having nightmares freaked me out, but nonetheless, um, that was a jump scare. There's the spider. Let me see if the spider hurts you. Okay, I'm going to put down... Okay, spider can hurt you. How interesting. It's only the bat that uh, doesn't hurt you in this version of the game. I wonder if that's intentional or if that's, uh, that's uh, a bug. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, there's another piece of the chalice. So notice how I can't hold the, chal the piece of chalice and the scepter at the same time. And... Uh, I'm going to run away from the bat because, well, actually, there's no reason to run away from the bat because he can't hurt me, but I'm running away from the bat. All right, so, oh, oh, now he definitely can hurt me. Getting out of there. Yeah, go away. All right, so there's that other piece, and notice that you can't... Uh, this game incorporates a warning. Notice how you get uh, thunder and lightning whenever you're getting close to an oogie boogie. And that kind of reminds me of Silent Hill. Obviously, this came a lot uh, earlier than Silent Hill. But, uh, you know, in Silent Hill, you had the static on the radio. In this game, you have thunder and lightning. But uh, same kind of thing. You know when there's a bad creature around a little bit ahead of time because of these little audio clues. Now, let me show you what happens when you have more than one piece in your hand at a time of the chalice. I know that that sentence was backwards. I'm sorry, I'm playing games. See, it'll actually put them together and now it's treating it as one piece. Now here's the problem. I've gone through the whole mansion and I didn't remember finding that middle piece. So now I have to go through the whole mansion again because I obviously wasn't paying close enough attention. It's level two. Get, go away, you, you blew out my match, you asshole. You know, I, I'm I'm just going to point out that uh, that the bat flies a lot slower than I've ever seen a bat fly. Not that I want super fast bats. Oh come on! So, eh? all right. Not that I want super fast bats, but still, slightly unrealistic. No, no, that's down. I also like the audio clues that let you know which direction you're going, because, as you can see, the rooms aren't terribly distinctive. So, 
it's kind of nice to know which way you're going. Um, you know, back back in the day, they did a lot with a little. I like the effect of the game. I like the dark rooms. I, I like the, needing the uh, needing the the match. Ah, see. Oh no! Ah! 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 Oh no, wait here. There, we want... Okay, so that's where I dropped the scepter. The, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry that around. That's useful. So, where is... that middle piece of the chalice? Um... Where is the middle piece of the chalice? Ah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Closet. I always like the sound of uh, hitting a wall. All right, so down to the first floor. Now, notice those other pieces are right here, and I can't pick them up because I can't see them. So I turn on the match. And it builds the chalice for me, and yeah, yeah, look at that. <laughs> so that's Haunted House. Now, when I was a kid, I it tended not to play with the extra features, but, uh, but you know, th this is a live stream. Th this is, learning about the extra features is what this is all about. So uh, let's... Uh, Let's try game two and see how it differs. It's probably much, much spookier. Very spooky. Oh, okay. Um, now I can't see anything. That's... <laughs> oh, and we have locked doors. Okay, so I do actually remember playing this version and uh, there's a key that you can find. Now, uh, here's the thing. <laughs> you can still only carry one thing at a time. Okay, so... Yeah. There. We'll leave that there. Also, you don't get a warning uh, until the uh, creature is in the room with you because of course there's now doors in the way I don't know if I'll be able to see the creatures I would imagine that I'm going to be able to see the creatures it is nice that uh, it still tells you what floor you're on since the floor layouts are all the same Let me just check something here. I'm gonna. Uh, uh, oh, I. I think I'm gonna have to exit the game if I want to. Uh, if I want to move my window around so that I can see comments. I, oh, I've got a few watchers. That's cool. Uh, thank you for watching. I, I can't see my my uh, comments right now. I'm gonna have to adjust my windows. So if anybody is leaving comments, um, you can pretty much make fun of me mercilessly, and I won't even know it. No! 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 Well, crap. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where I am. Let's see. Ah, oh, that's that's not the direction I wanted to go. Oh, oh, of course, that that would. No. All right, so that's not the direction I want to go. No. You know, I really shouldn't get this emotional about a game where mostly this is just a black screen. Gosh darn it, I didn't want to go that way either. Okay, up here, up here. Yeah. 
Ah, all right, so I've got two pieces of the chalice. I'm going to just dump them off here. No! All right, get out of here. There was a scepter around here somewhere. Where was the scepter? I can't see my comments, so even if somebody tells me where I dropped the scepter, I'm not going to know it. No! No! Ah! 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 That ghost is an ass hat. All right. So um, let's let's check out. Oh! Just gonna point out that it's really hard to tell where you're running when you can't see. Ah! <laughs> okay, we got the scepter. Yeah. Screw you, spider and ghost. That I'm not sure how I feel about you, but so. Yeah! <laughs> look at that. You look dumb. I'm not afraid of you. Yeah, you look dumb too. Look at you. You're you're like a bat with glasses on. Yeah, it's like a Bugs Bunny cartoon. Anybody remember that? Huh? Anybody? No, I don't know where I am. Okay. So, let's see. We're on level three. It's, once again, it's it's nice that it tells you what floor you're on. This could get really confusing if they don't at least tell you what floor you're on. And nothing in that room. N nothing in that room. Ah! Oh, yeah, I've got the scepter. You know, it's, it's funny that a game as simple as this can still make me kind of jump. And I... I, I, I not sure if that's a dysfunction on my part or a function on the game's part but uh, but you know credit where it's due uh, this it works you know it's an effective game and so simple I think that that's one of the things I really like about the old Atari games is that you know they didn't have the resources to do a lot with sound and graphics. They you know, they had what they had. They had big blocky pixels and they managed to tell a story. That's pretty cool. Now we're up on the fourth floor. Ideally, I should have searched all the rooms by now. And uh, I I I there, there should be a, a third piece of the chalice. Right? I mean... <laughs> so, how is it that I keep getting... I mean, this is not that complicated of a playing area. How is it that I don't have all the pieces of the chalice now? Gosh. If, if uh, live streaming videos accomplishes one thing... That thing is going to be that's going to make me look like an idiot. <laughs> yeah, well, that is uh, that is where we're at. Uh, <laughs> I'm an idiot who can't find the third piece of the chalice. Uh, okay, it's on level three. It's got to be on level three. I think that I was uh, getting attacked by crap on level three. So the chalice piece is here. It's got to be here. No, I guess I'll just let him do his thing. All right. Oh, there it is. Yes. So, no, wrong way. Okay, so. Ah! 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 Ah. Okay, well, that was mercifully short. Seems like the the ghost, when you get caught by him, it goes on a little longer. Okay, and... Yeah! All right! Okay, so 
Um, well, that was actually kind of cool. Uh, I like that. The uh, let's see what level three. I think that uh, level three is going to have locked doors, and then there's also going to be a key. And that's going to be cool. So let's try this out. Here we go. Oh, hey, I got the key. All right. Well, that's handy. I wonder if uh, on this setting it always starts out right in your hand, but um, so all right. I'm being thorough here. We are not going to get to uh, what? Oh, okay. We are not going to get to level four and not have all f all three pieces of the chalice. All right, I'm just saying that right now. We're not doing that this time. No! Oh, I don't know where he is. The ghost is scary! G give a guy a break, all right? I mean, he really swoops in at you. Okay. Ooh, scepter. Oh, and see, here's decision time. I can take the scepter, and now I don't have the key. Okay, well, let's see. I can... Okay, I can't use that door. I can't use that door. I can use that door. Oh. Did I just somehow glitch through? Huh. I, uh, I think... No! 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 Okay. Oh, come on! Come on! Okay, this has suddenly gotten really difficult. Oh dear. Um. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess this is uh, this is what happens when you're playing a uh, a hacked version. Oh, good. Oh. Yeah, we're experiencing some glitchiness. And uh, yeah, that's weird. Uh, I managed to kind of blip through that door. And have I found any pieces of chalice yet? I know I've gotten killed twice. So, um... I have to go back and get the key. Okay, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm going to put the scepter here. And now I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to get the key. And now I'm going to go up, and at least I know where the scepter is while I search this floor. It's a good plan. Okay, now, everybody's watching. I'm, uh, I'm once again thoroughly checking the floor. And we have not found any pieces of chalice. Oh! Oh! There's a piece of chalice! Okay, so. Now, can I get back? Okay, no, I can't go that way. I don't want to go that way. Oh, come on! All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take that. Oh, but if I... Ah, crap. Okay, if I drop the key on the other side of that door, then I can't go through the door. I have to go up to the third floor!
Go, go away! Aw, oh, come on! I do not think that it's fair that the bat has a key and I don't. Okay. Here we go. Now, everybody just ignore the number of matches that I've used up to this point. <sighs> okay, so... I can't search the rest of this level. Okay, I'm going to drop that piece down on the first floor, and... Oh, come on! Oh, gosh! I can't get anywhere! I need the key. I have to get the key. You know, maybe if I had played this version of the game when I was a kid, I would have a better memory now. Because this is, this is like uh, memory training. Go away! There. Oh, hey, there's the, there's the scepter. I really do fear the ghost. <laughs> I am dreading him being on the other side of that door. Alright. So, alright. I have... Now... Uh, no! Okay. I have now searched the entire second floor. Yeah. That's like music. It actually is music. Whoa! Go away! Stupid spider. So... Ah, oh, come on! Okay, that confirms it when, uh... When the spider or the ghost are not in the room with you, then you do... They do not appear on screen at all. It's good to know. No! 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 Hey! <laughs> Alright, I got a... I got a piece! Uh, let's just see if we can find the other piece. Did I... Did I search all of the, uh... The, th the third floor at this point? I don't know if I did... Darn it! I swore that I was going to get to the fourth floor and have searched everything. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I did. I did. Okay, yeah. No, I need that. No, no. Oh, come on. Ah! Okay. No! No! Go away! Go away! Oh! No! Oh, good! Oh! <laughs> Alright. That doesn't hurt you. Uh, I, I think that that's a bug. I, I don't think that that's ac accurate to the normal game. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how to get this piece back. Um... No! Ah! You know, that's how I really react when I get bitten by a spider. Like, you know, you, you put a spider on me, that that's exactly... No! 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 Um... No, I'm... Um, okay. Great. <laughs> Where the hell am I? 
How did I get up here? Okay. No! You... Come on! <sighs> okay. No! Go away, you mother... Oh, ah! Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, where the hell did I leave the chalice? Okay, so, we've got... No, don't want to go up. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to try something here. This... No! <laughs> Keeping my composure. All right, so. Oh, come on! Go away! It's like a green mosquito. Yes, come up this way. Come up this way. Yes, go to that room. All right, so. I'm not sure that this is how I'm supposed to do this. Come on! <sighs> Alright. So, as I was saying, I'm not sure if this is how I'm supposed to do this, but this is how I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so. Ah, yeah. All right. There we go. Okay, I'm going to see if there's another way around here. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. And this makes sense, right? Yeah. You use the key, you open the door, hold it open. Woohoo! Yeah! Huh. That was a strangely large amount of work. Um, okay. Do, do, do we want to do one more? See what another... Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I can take it. <sighs> All right. Uh, we're gonna try... Oh, whoops, that's black and white mode. <laughs> that's, uh, F1. Okay, this is, this is setting number four, and I don't actually know what this is. We're gonna find out. I, I like the sounds of, uh, of walking around. Once again, we're in the dark, and we have we have doors. It seems like the colors are a little bit darker, and I didn't start out with a key this time. Okay. Oh, well, that's inconvenient. I can only search these three rooms. Um... Well, this is going to get a little bit more uh, more complicated. Okay. And I can't. 
can't get into that room at all. Can't get into that room. Let's try... Hmm. Ah. Uh, okay, well... I was able to go up the side stairway. That's That's good. We're on level three. And... No, no, no! No! Ah! Oh! <sighs> okay, well. We got that out of the way early. That's good. Um, okay, I'm on level three. And... It has been very difficult. I, I haven't been able to search an entire floor yet. What? No! No! Oh! Dude! You notice that everything's different colors now. Like, the spider is blue. Uh, level 3 seems to have a blue motif. Okay, and... <sighs> okay, so I was on level three. Have I found anything yet? I haven't found anything. Oh, come on! I found the spider. I found the spider. Twice. Twice. So if you... Uh, okay, the bat is orange. No, no! Okay, well, the bat's not hurting me. That's a plus. Okay, this is the farthest south that I've been on this house so far. Well, hey, this is great. Okay, now I ha I seem to have access to the other half of the second floor. That's awesome. So let's just remember that on uh, on the third or yeah, on the third floor. No. You know what? You can't hurt me. You're glitched. Screw you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go, go away. Go away. Go. Oh, come on. There you go. Yeah. Go somewhere else. All right. So, um. At least I got access to most of the second floor now. Oh, come on! Oh, no, no! You... Oh, God! Okay, so, third floor, can't go that way. Uh, no, I've been there. You know, the spider really likes me. <sighs> okay. There we go. Oh, hey, I got the key. That's great. The key was on the fourth floor. That's helpful. That, that's all this setting is. Different colors, and they put the key on the fourth floor. Hey! Peace! Now, how much of this floor can I uh, can I conceivably search without 
the key. <laughs> Not much. All right, here's what we're gonna do. You know, really, that that's that's very impressive. Thank you. Thank you. No! 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 <laughs> Um. Oh crap! Oh crap! Um. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> okay. See, apparently, when you when you mess with the source code on a on a, an old video game, weird things happen. Um. I. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, um, where's my... Okay, there's the chalice piece. So, um, here's what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to take the chalice piece down to level three. We're going to go up here and we're going to get the key. Going to ooh yeah, there's another chalice piece, and we're going to drop it in the doorway. We're going to get the key. We're going to hold open the door. We're going to swap it with the piece. We're going to go down, join it with ah oh good, I thought I lost the chalice, and now I'm going to drop that. I'm going to go up. I'm going to get the key. See, this is why I don't play more modern video games, because to me, this is complicated. And, uh, let's see, I, I still haven't finished searching the fourth level. So, I'm going to go back up, and I'm going to finish looking around on the fourth level. Maybe the rest of the chalice is here. That would be really nice. that. I'm go get the key. Ah! You know what? Let me tell you what I think of spiders. This is... Uh. <gasps> oh, no! Oh! Oh, I... I dropped the key on the other side of the door! <sighs> of course. Oh, there's a scepter. That's, uh, thanks. Okay, so, all right. Now, I'm going to drop that and go up. The key should be... Oh, thank goodness. All right. So... not going to be a way down there. All right. Yes. Yeah. Woo. So it seems that uh, setting four, I guess that was setting four. Uh, I guess that means that they just make it a little harder by putting everything in the attic. 
All right, uh, let me let me uh, exit out of this for just a moment so that I can adjust my YouTube window. Thank you for that, my lovely assistant. <laughs> the, uh, the, the good news is that I can't actually see the, uh, the ghost that she's, she's putting over me. All right, so, uh, okay. A new hole. No, no. Oh, there was a there's a little window. Where Where's the Okay. So um the the hat doesn't fit here. Wait. I I I noticed that uh Nathan Fillion. I'm going to assume that this is Nathan Fillion. Uh, by the way, huge fan Nathan. The hat doesn't exactly fit with the headset, but um but I, I'm I'm going to put on the hat. Uh all right, so uh, let's go back. Do we want to do uh, want to do uh, the next setting? Do, you think think we're good? Okay. Well, uh, that being the case, uh, <laughs> I've been playing for a while now, and you're probably tired of watching me uh, run around on a black screen. Uh, so. That is Haunted House, the uh, Kurt Howe Bob Montgomery hack, which overall I'd say pretty good. Um, you know, it just adds a little bit of extra color to it, uh, makes it a little bit more visually appealing. Uh, it's a very bare bones game, so anything you do to to add to it is a plus. Uh, a couple little glitches that we discovered, but um, they did make the game interesting. So, <laughs> uh, you know, on my how-to videos, I say, you know, be brave. But these aren't how these aren't my how-to videos. So be afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. Uh, this is Clay Carlino, and uh, I don't really have a closing yet for these live streams. So, peace out. Live long and prosper. <laughs> Bye and see you next time.